Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Clan Lover. But right now, we gotta talk about them immigrants and repatriation. We are in the process of repatriating those who fail our standards and among demographics we have no further need of, of course. How many we engage in repatriating has an impact on our economy, with many claiming that immigrants are needed for cheap labor, and targeting Catholics will anger much of Europe. Due to this, they are wondering if we should stop here or do another round of repatriations towards Western Europeans who fail our standards to make their presence as minimal as possible. Stop now. Mm, do additional ones? Mm, if we do anything, I like to go all the way. Stop now. I don't know. Stop now. Cheap labor. The, the economy will fix itself. I like thinking we go all the way. Now, I can't remember if I read this one yesterday, which I probably did, honestly. My memory's gotten so bad since I played so many campaigns. But unite against cynicalism. A new campaign against cynicalism and the reminder of the dangers it possesses and the domestic enemies to the state they are associated with will spur unity and recruitment among the population as well as loyalty among some of the most who are still skeptical of NDWL. Oh, we just got a carrier. Holy crap. So we are fighting the entire Entente. The West Indies Confederation is about to die. The UK is a nation. And Greece is a major player power. We are in one messed up timeline where Greece is a major power. I am sorry. I just don't think I can agree with that. Now we can try and do this. Probably going to lose a few tanks here and there, but oh well. So the goal is, take out all the Americas. That's what I want. And if that includes the Netherlands, so be it. Uh, who are they guaranteed by? Don't care. Actually, are we... Hold on, before we do that, are we just finding anybody else first? No. So, Dutch boys, go home. We don't want you in the Americas. There you go. Very nice. And you Marines. In there. So once you have that group done, we'll feel pretty good about ourselves. Edward Almond. Uh, Almond. Alright, so bad. Oh my gosh, we're going to lose here pretty darn badly, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to lose some tanks, huh? So a lot of divisions there. Too bad I'm going over here, too. It's going to be quite unfortunate. Alright, not bad. It is, of course, 1946, which isn't too bad. But yeah, I have no interest in the old world. It, Nic oh, Nicholas Cage! No! A hero! A true hero! Oh my goodness. Alright, so how much have we lost here? Uh, just in case, let's go. Let's do that. And we'll do that too. Because that's that's ridiculous. Honestly, I don't understand how they're not taking any more attrition than that. That literally makes no sense to me. Stop trading, huh? Weird. Let them keep forcing the attack. Honestly, if they run out of enough organization, they will die. At least that's a plan. We do have an intel advantage. Do we have air superiority here? Yeah? We're doing 36 damage. Uh, human trafficking for pet... What the heck? Negotiate with the Entente. Core offers peace talks. War propaganda against Peru. Build Puerto Rico. Okay, so they're literally dying there, which is good to see. Well, I mean, so are we, but still. And once we get the militia, they should drop pretty quickly. So after Peru, Peru is done... Um... Yeah, it should be pretty good. Recon Toast. Dose. I, I, I do apologize if I uh, slur my words. I do have a cup of coffee here to keep me nice and energized. But we'll see how long that lasts. And two days left. Naval torpedo strikes. Very good. Nice. We're going to keep going in. Going to keep going in until all the Jamaicans are gone. But as a lot of you guys do say in the comments, I hope you do like my titles, the titles of my videos. And some of you guys said, this is quite the blessed timeline. Can't necessarily disagree. Cool. Just forced it. I know tanks are terrible to fight here, but we've got off quite a few divisions already. And, oh! We force the attack again. Prue. Alright, so where are you guys at? You should be losing a lot of manpower eventually here. They have seven divisions left. We've got them. We've got them. Now, if only these guys can move fast enough. Because after this, we'll go to war the Dutch. The good old Dutch boys. And we've got Peru. Nice. Very, very delightful, my friends. So you guys are done? Ha! Huh. Joke's on you. That's what you think. We're going all the way down here to Chile and just taking up them all. Because once we take all, all the lands of South America, we'll probably deport people who we don't think are appropriate people. And, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. Horace Stevens? Cool. 
So after this one, fun racial sciences. If clan views are to seem legitimate, it needs not only political backing, but scientific backing as well. Unfortunately, so many biologists, so-called, and related, or rel related scientists seem opposed to a position that will be replaced or commanded by those who do seek to understand racial sciences using national funding, which they will use to, sp and use to espouse to the public. You get plus three weekly war support. That's not bad. How many do we kill it off here? Um, West Indies Confederation, not enough. I guarantee you it's not, was just not enough. But I love racial sciences. But Church of the Fiery Cross, why Protestantism not only advances the interests, oh look at that, of the white man, but of the white woman as well. The example of Alma White shall be followed in giving women in whom commit themselves to white supremacy greater positions in her churches and local politics, starting with giving the female auxiliary of our organization increased benefits paid for via increased nonconformist funds in Catholic churches. What an, a smart idea. Go on in, y'all. Well, all I can say is at least we won. Um, I guess y'all can come here. It's only a single goddamn towel, but whatever. Cool. Nice. How many? How much longer do I have to wait for this one? It's gonna be a while. That sucks. That's a while. But hey, let's go beat some Chileans. When in doubt, just beat up the Chileans. Take over the country, and then cast them out. This is our land now. Let's see, fate of the Peru. Uh, after a campaign across the hostile Peruvian Andes, we finally managed to shatter the Peruvian defenses. Lima is now in our hands. We must now decide on the future Peru. Friendly government, excuse me, you you live here? Not for much longer. Let's be real here. Uh, it's called American Laban's Realm, expanding south. Hmm. We got a lot of fighters. Not enough though. Wow, look at that chromium use. Uh, Union South Africa, thanks guys. We got a lot of. That's a lot of civvies. We're only warp. Hmm. But I do love me some racial sciences. And the protocols of Zion. With our barrier in a Protestant Christianity seeing a further expansion among female white supremacists, it's time to stomp out the next greatest threat to our political power, the Christian Identitarians. Their influence in the White League is shoving as their, is their loyalty to non clan figures. We should use their tales of being the true Jews to a great effect by spreading the protocols of Zion with an updated preference. A preface. Describing the elders of Zion de desire to align themselves with those values. That stretch, yes, but one that may save us and America. Or serve us and save us at the same time. Nice. Throw move a little bit faster. Nice. Keep them busy, keep them busy. I want to go to war with the Actually, Paraguay. Brazil. Uh, but, oh, we can, do, we can do Bolivia too. Oh, that's nice. You guys come down to Bolivia, then. Because we're the Marines. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm, go with some more convoys. We'll actually get some more convoys right now. Followed up with you. Eight more right there. Cool. Guns from Panama, huh? Nice. Good stuff. And then maybe we'll go to where the People's Republic of Argentina? Probably. Or just go to war with Brazil. We'll probably won't go to war with Brazil since they're pretty distracted, but then again, some of these guys are... Well, we're trying to take these guys out first. Shouldn't take too long, though. Shouldn't take too long. Build more up in Iowa. Why not? Um, there's one area here you guys could do like that. Do that. Switch yourselves up. Well, you guys are down here already, which is great, 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 great to see. Thank you. Goodbye, Simon El Patino. Dutch operatives. Nice. Carlos, do you have anything? No. Okay, then. We're just we're trying to make more stuff. Come on, guys. Oh, actually, you got quite a few divisions there, don't you? 
But we can probably sneak a lot of this stuff. We won't invade Cuba, too, but promoting st Stoddardism. Walter Stoddard and the late Madison Grant both have major influences on the clan, with leading members of being at least familiar with Grant's The Passing of the Great Race. And Stoddard's a rising tide of color, the threat against white world supremacy. Some within the organization want it for it to be uh, requires university and even high school level reading in related classes, but the tendency for both these writers to split the white race into subcategories uh, makes them nervous. Some disagree with the theories of Nordic superiority over the Alpine and Mediterranean race, or with Grant's belief that the Mediterranean race holds abilities above the Nordic one. Others think that the explicit and codified subcategories will make our appeal among whites more limited as well, with some believing we should stick by current clan policy of the one drop rule. And just dealing with different white races on a case by case basis. It's too risky. Teach it. It's a step forward. Yeah, nah, we we okay. We good. So we're done with all this. Done with all that. Who's down here? Oh, yeah. This is the coup you can get. So you have to get the young clan and young so you have to coup. To get either one of these guys, you have to coup for that war for the West. Imperium, which is a book you, everyone should read, maybe. Uh, America for Christians. Uh, follow the fo founders, yes. Agent of Jacob. Church of Zion. Well, increased military spending. Civil War devastated the American civilian industry, but has made the American military ind industry quite a profitable enterprise. While the Civil War may be over, America still has enemies of fine wars of whim. And as such, keeping the Civil War military spending expanding upon is, is in our best interests. We already maxed on PP, and we still get two a day if we even get to take that focus, so. Not a bad idea. Still in the water? I don't really care. Go ahead and go in. Nice. I think we have tanks there, too. Look at that. How's Bolivia going? Looks like it's going okay. Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Very nice. Oh yeah, we have stuff up here too. Let's roll out. Beautiful. Hey, Bolivia. Thank you, Bolivia. Thank you. You will not be remembered. Got a big old Brazilian underbelly here. We went here too. Cool. Um, we could naval invade. We could try it. Georgetown. Uh, oh, oh, I would rather invade there. That's all. Nice. Find anything over there you can, and then we'll go to war these guys. And do the best we can. Oh! Oh, yeah, that sucks. It's alright. It was bound to happen. Why did you take that? Oh, my goodness. What time are we going? Pedro the third, you like no manpower, even though you're like a volunteer only. It's fine, whatever. Should do okay in the end. You guys, you need more naval supremacy, which is fine. Oh, crap, go up here too. That sucks. What is that? Uh, I'll actually have you guys come up finish these guys off just in case. Um, Uruguay. Do it anyways, it's fine. Oh, we're fighting these guys too, that's fine. Whatever. I do not really care. Nice. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Infrared sniper scope, model 1943, is pretty awesome. Made of Bolivia. After campaigning through the jungles and deserts of Bolivia, we finally managed to defeat, uh, or get to, get to the gates of the Andes. Uh, La Paz is now in our hands. We have now must decide the future of uh, Bolivia. There you go. New arms production or new arms factories. With a large army that can recruit across Colombia, we need arms that can support them as such. And uh, spending on and uh, working with managers of military arms factories is the obvious solution to this. 
Yes, and it's burning up through here, but whatever. We got things to deal with right now. Go up here, guys. Come on. They're only, you know, Dutch. Well, Dutch colonial soldiers. Oh, we actually have some divisions down here, do we? Wow. Let's see, Brazil. Forty thousand. You guys aren't even registering yet. <sighs> I guess cover the entire front line if you have to. Guys, please move. They're only Brazilian, man. I don't need more native supremacy. So eugenics push. Virtually all of our young clan is agreement that eugenics is the way forward for populations to thrive, but there are some disagreement on the extent it should take. Part of the organization's push for sterilization of criminals, addicts, and those with disabilities, but others desire to expand it to mixed race couples as well. The part of their organization thinks their descendants could be needed for labor jobs and that this would damage their economy. I encourage more organized resistance. What should we go on? Sure, it's restraint. Full eugenics. Who suggested partial restraint? Who suggested that? War bonds. Funding the war effort will require more than victory gardens and volunteerism. Liquid assets are in short supply, especially with our economy, our economic plans and programs ongoing. We can capitalize on public trust and implement war bonds as most of the free nations do. Come on, guys, keep going. Why do you stop? Piece of garbage. Go, 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 go. Fifty four divisions, no manpower, engineers. Uh do we get these guys done? No we didn't know that sucks. Recon? Sure why not. Tanks seem to be doing okay ish. Ish. Sure, Philippines. Sure. Nice. Cool. Find him, kill him off. You know, the usual. Maybe we're going to negotiate with the Anton in the end. We'll see. See what we just yet? No, we can't go to war economy, which is stupid, but whatever. What's wrong with Paraguay? No manpower, yay! Kind of figure it is Paraguay, so. Cape Verde Plain, huh? War bonds, strategic destruction would be very, very nice. Let's go with new, or the new army goes rolling along. Our military is now the greatest in North America, and with some targeted investments, we'll be ready for mobilization and Congress at a moment's notice. Well, we kind of already, kind of already started that, so they're a little late for that, but okay. Kind of have the spirit. Uh oh, nice. Oh, we lost some water, so that sucks. I wish I could send the Marines down here. Are they doing force defense or something? They seem oddly weak. This ain't looking too bad, though. As long as we don't get encircled here. Mosley. Oh, aggressive. Oh, yes. Go aggressive. 
She went with more offensive, actually, but whatever. Yeah, do that too, because you can. Might as well, right? Might as well. Anything else? Not really here. British operative captured, so be it. Call this rifles, nice. Happy 47. Son, how'd you get encircled? These guys are doing great up here, though. I love what E Wing Booth is doing. Five carries is a bit too much. Yeah, straight one carrier over. Nice. They actually link up. Oh, we kind of do. Look at that. Nice. Up next, uh, press for Greenland? Yeah, we can. The importance of secure, secure on the Atlantic cannot be understated, especially after Western Europe went red. Let us end the silly charade of allowing Denmark to hold Greenland while they have virtually no need of it. And our public could use it but to actual use. Saying di diplomats to pressure them to surrender their territory. Oh, nice. We got the capital, too. Awesome. Who else can we go to war with? We already at war with those guys? Yeah, Paraguay just loves killing off their own men. Cuba, we'll go to war with Cuba too, so. Just in case, we can just justify on them anyways. Just in case. Bahia Blanca. Well, I should give up pretty darn soon. We killed off a lot of uh, Brazilians. Must have got rid of a lot of Paraguayans too. Nice. Hey, to Paraguay. Our armies have finally taken control of the Paraguayan capital and occupied the territory of the former states of Paraguay. We should now decide how to set up a competent administration in the area. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. Ooh. There you go. Oh, and there you go, too. Might as well. Ah, Uruguay, yes. Next one is ours. Come on, Brazil, hurry up. But, the fate of Uruguay. After a long camp in Uruguay, or Uruguay, we finally managed to shatter defenses. We must not have in the future. Yeah, I kind of figure what we're probably going to be doing. Oh, I don't even get these guys yet? Oh, that sucks. I think that's a lost focus too, so. Unfortunately that we're out of focuses, but that's alright. It should mean to go back and start a new campaign soon too, after the time of recording. Cool. Yeah, not much has really gone here in here in Europe except for the minor war between the Reichs Pact and uh Commonwealth of Independent Nations. Oh the Reichs Pact up here too, look at that. Deutsch Wow. Mikhail Tereschenko. Sounds a slightly familiar, but cool. Are you independent, Slovakia? Yeah, you are. Surround about the Reichs Pact, huh? Good luck with that, man. Maybe nuclear bomberinos, bomberinos would be fun. Oh, well, would you look at that? They caved. Denmark has caved into our diplomatic pressure, surrounding Greenland to us. Today, the Pacific is a little more secure. The Pacific is more secured. What do you mean the Pacific? You mean the... What? I think you mean the Atlantic. 
I think that's Atlantic, right? I'm pretty sure that's Atlantic. I'm like 100% sure. Just to come on, take a Rio. Cool. Man, come on, Brazil. I know you a big boy. But you gotta take big boy losses. And you already are, but... Still. Still. Because soon we go on to invade Cuba. Cubarinos. And then call it a campaign. Let's see. So, we're probably going to invade... Ooh, follow Rio. Nice. We're going to invade Havana. Havana. Be right there. Cut these guys completely off if you can. Completely ignore every single port except for the capital. Is that a smart idea? Probably not, but that's A okay with us. They're close. They're close to capitulating. Keep those suckers in place, because they like to suck hard. Suck hard, suck long, suck often. Hmm, you don't need to really mess with that. Hey, we got Brazil. Thank you, my friends. So now it's time to piss off the Reich's Pact. Nice. So now we can retreat from here. There you go. Cool. Um, the port interception would be nice. There you go. Cool. That should definitely help us out. And I want you guys, like... Eh, mostly probably back up here. See what we can do about that. Anything else? Planes are fine. Um, anything there? Not really too much. Marines? Yeah, better Marines would be good. I want you guys here in... Santo Domingo. And port au -Prince. Took a while to get up there. You guys are actually almost there, which is really nice. Um... Let's get the, the ships up here. Uh, ships. The Marines were there first. And we do this first. Argentina. What are we going to do with them? After the conquest of the vast nation of Argentina, we have a, a, to organize competent administrations to keep the territory under our control. Now we need to side on the fate of the region. Goodbye. Fate of Brazil. After the conquest of the vast nation of Brazil, we have to organize, of course, the same thing. Even if the magnificent city of Rio is under the boots of our soldiers, we can't keep it hold on it forever. Huh. Huh. That's what you think. We just did this one. Why do I have to get punished again? Alright, so are you guys almost there? They should be almost all completely there by now, right? Well, the ones in Florida are taking forever. Just go by boat, bros. Go by boat. Where are the tanks at? Eh, they're doing okay-ish. You guys can train as well. Excavation is not too bad. Don't need that one. Eh, this could be a lot better, but whatever. Not important anything else. We got plenty of fuel. We got more than enough fuel. Why is Tartar stand here? I've never seen Tartar stand. Jim Jones. Does Tartar stand has his own unique focus tree? What? Bashkurdistan. Spanish Republic. Ukraine looking kind of thick. I dare bad did really well this this campaign. Look at the hats, Osman. Nice job. Oh. King Victoria, Louise. What? Cool. Let's go in. I don't want to wait any longer. German Empire has been uh, called in. Nice. Sink those ships. We're coming for that chromium, boys. And that's exactly what we're gonna get. Nice. We've landed. Let's push in. Sure, Russia, sure. Why not? For now, yeah. There you go. We're getting them. Havana will be ours. 
Are you trying to leave militia divisions? No, 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 no. I think they've got to be doing force defense or something, right? No, they can pierce us, though. I love that organization just dropping like crazy, though. Nice. The island will be ours shortly. And they are. Cool. So let's see what this does. I hope this... Let's negotiate, maybe. What? What? No. No, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. Uh, here. Count's commands in. No, 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 no. We literally earn this fair and square. I will not tolerate that. I don't like that. I thought it would be do something like this, stupid. We earn this fair and square. So I don't understand why they give that territory back. Their nations are literally dead. I hate using cons commands like that, but, you know, sometimes you have to. But I think that should be everybody here in this part of the world. What? Why? What? Mexico? I don't understand this, man. When we have a peace deal, we should be able to negotiate. We should absolutely be given the option to negotiate for stuff like that. Oh, well, now we can rebuild Puerto Rico. But whatever, who cares? Um, like, I think that's going to be it, everybody. That's pretty much it going to be for us. So, hey, if you enjoyed uh, the video and the campaign, uh, and the Imperial Wizardom of America, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. And another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.